Amen. God bless you. And welcome to our last uh, daily devotional for the week. Um, and as a reminder, so that you remember, uh, tomorrow night will be our Zoom. Thursday, which will be Christmas Eve, will be our candlelight service through Zoom as well. And then Friday, we're going to go ahead and give you uh, Christmas time with your families. Uh, and returning back uh, for service on Sunday um, on through all of our social media sites as well. And then Monday back to our, our, our daily devotions as well. So tonight, um, you know, I want to challenge you through uh, a portion of scripture that um, speaks to actually a, a fruition, kind of something to come about. And it's, it's found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 13. And it says, this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son, that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. And I guess what I want to share with you tonight is, um, you know, to have a close association, an agreement uh, um, uh, of, of something about God's Word is, is not always found. And so, you know, there are different interpretations, different ways that we believe. And um, I, think, I think what the Scripture is telling us is that there, there's coming a place where we will all come together as one. Um, but it also speaks to the fact that those that don't believe. And so here, here's where my challenge comes to you, is that God is giving us an opportunity. He's giving us the moments in time. He's giving us those fragments of, of people's lives uh, to be an example. And the scripture is referencing just that, that we, would, we may believe right, that we would, we would have the same spirit, that we would have um, everything set in motion to, to be a witness to those people in our lives. And too often, sometimes we look through the le lens of criticism. Um, we look through the lens of critiquing those um, that make decisions. And yes, some of them are bad ones. Some of them are difficult ones. Some of them can't be explained. But instead of criticizing, we should come together as one uh, to try and, and, and focus what's best, not only for our lives and the gospel of Jesus Christ, but our nation. And I think what the scripture is ta talking to us about is there's going to come a place where we all come to the same sound teaching, that we come to the same belief, the same walk of faith. But that's not going to happen unless we come together as the people of God and learn to understand that there's going to be brothers and sisters to the left or right of us that don't see the same perspective as we do. There may even be unbelievers to the left or right of us that God has placed us in a moment that we would be truly an example, that we would be that voice to them in their lives to help them see what Christ can do within them. And so, you know, when I began to look at this, I think that there's a Christian tolerance. And I know that's not a, a, a popular word or maybe a, a phrase that we've heard, <clears throat> but Christian tolerance is where there has to come a place where we, we do less criticizing and more praying and trusting and seeking the Lord. I would challenge you, when's the last time you got on your knees to pray for somebody instead of criticizing them? That's a, that's a, tough, that's a tough line to draw, right? We, we are, we're quick to get on different methods of social media to maybe, maybe uh, poke at folks. But I would challenge you, are you doing the same that you're doing uh, in public and private? And that is getting on your knees and seeking God and asking them for direction, not only for our country all the way down to our very uh, our lives of our own personal life. And, you know, this scripture is telling us that, that we wouldn't be so zealous to point out the faults in others, but that we would pray for a unity of God's word. There, it's coming. That's what the scripture is telling us, that this coming is the knowledge of the Son of God. It's all coming to fruition that we would all have that. But until it arrives, we as the people of God must be that balance to our loved ones, to our friends, to our families, um, even to our neighbors, that we would, we, would, we would show our love more than anything else. The Bible does tell us many times that the, we will be known not by our knowledge, not by our wisdom, not by our success, not by, not by the great acts that we are able to do as a church will be known by our love and my father has always told me and i embrace it there is no defense for love people can criticize anything else but there is no defense for love and so i would challenge you in this season when the greatest gift the bible says and and the famous scripture that we know of john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
we received a gift that we're going to be celebrating very soon in our homes and our families, a gift that God gave. And the Bible tells us that He loved us. That's why He did it. And I think the greatest gift that we can give somebody who criticizes us is love. Is it hard? Absolutely. Is it difficult? Most definitely. But is that what we're asked to do? Yes. That's what we are called to do as the people of God. I want to challenge you as you face these new challenges, as we face 2021 and, and years to come, this is only going to get tougher and difficult, but the people of God will be known for two things. They will know them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Bow your heads and pray with me. Father, I thank you because you have been so good to each and every single one of us. You've watched over us, you've taken care of us, and your call to us is to be that shining example to others, to encourage them to follow and serve you. But we must be the best example of all. And so I pray, God, that you would help us to search our hearts, oh God. Help us see, God, the things that are in our life that need to be fixed and corrected so that we can truly be the example that you've called us to be. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. Hey, God bless you. I do look forward to those that can join us on our Zoom Wednesday night Bible study tomorrow. And then on Thursday, once again, for our Zoom wonderful time of candlelight service. Very short, but an opportunity for us to come together. Both of those are at 7 p.m. I look forward to seeing you. God bless you.